All right, guys, so we're going to start off today's technique. We're going to be cutting a curly layered haircut. Can't wait to walk you guys through this. So the sectioning is very simple. Uh, it's straight down the center. So we're doing a center parting. And then I'm working the round of the head with my next section. So I take a, a diagonal back parting. And then I pull everything over right above the nose, angling my fingers just slightly, uh, creating almost like a triangle to the parting, right? So the parting's angled diagonal back, and then my finger angle is angled diagonal forward. And that's going to create a nice extreme kind of push of the weight. And you can see it right there, how it gets short to long. And then I'm going to switch up my technique. So notice that my comb is also a razor. So I'm using the Donald Scott carving comb, which is available on freesaloneducation.com. Um, so I use that tool as my comb. I also have a scissor. So what I'm doing is creating a nice blunt cut for the fringe and then a soft cut for the face frame. So notice how I split it right at the parietal ridge area, right where that head starts to curve down. I bring everything over to me, cut it blunt with the scissor, get myself a nice hard line. And then as I work down the face frame, I switch up my technique using the razor to create almost a scooping motion with that razor um, to create a nice soft face frame around the face. Now, this is going to be a curly hair finish. Um, I'm going to diffuse the hair. We're going to make it super curly. So you guys will be able to see how this haircut looks on curly hair. Now, a couple things I'm doing. I'm using a very wide tooth comb. So if I was working with curly hair, which I am here, um, if I'm working with curly hair, I'm going to use wide a wide tooth comb because that's going to give me less tension. I don't want to pull the hair too far from where it's going to want to live naturally, right? Uh, so I'll work through. Now, a switch up of this technique, once I get a few inches back on the head shape, I go all razor. I go all in with the razor, using the razor to create a really nice soft edge to the layering technique. So what we're doing is we're creating layers around the face, but then also those layers are coming from the back of the head as well. So we're going to push some weight from the front, push it off to the back. Uh, so our heaviest point at this point of the haircut is going to be in the back of the head. So bringing everything over to me, cutting it with the razor, nice soft edge to the finish. And that is the first side. So you can see all the layers that pop, how, uh, how exciting this haircut gets. Um, now to do the other side, what I'm going to do is take out just a little bit, um, from the very front. And then I'm going to bring over, uh, the other side and use that as my guideline. Um, one thing I didn't share with you guys at the very beginning of this video that I wish I would have mixed in at the beginning was that I prepared the hair with Donald Scott prepare, which is a razor cutting lotion. Um, so it helps with the slip and the glide of the razor over the hair. So, uh, make sure that anytime you're doing a razor cut, you have a fresh blade, obviously. And, um, Donald Scott prepare really helps to keep the hair nice and conditioned and healthy as I'm working through it. So again, going through with the blunt cut of the scissor in the fringe area, and then using that razor tool to cut the rest of the section. So using the piece that I just cut as the guide, and then I slide that razor down, creating that scooped effect and getting a really nice feel to the face frame. So we'll continue doing the same thing for a couple sections, cutting with the blunt scissor on the top of the head. And then as I move down to the side, switching to that razor, this is why the carving comb was invented. So you could have three tools in your hand at once, a comb, a razor, and a scissor, and I can work and mix and match those techniques. So a scissor blunt cut here, and then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna slide and glide that razor through the face frame. So now I've moved a few inches up the head. So now I'm going to go all razor. Uh, and that's how I like to work it. Now, if you guys don't have a carving comb uh, and you don't want, need to purchase anything right now, you can use a regular razor for this technique as well. Just switch, just grab your razor tool and use it and then grab your scissor tool. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just kind of convenient to be able to hold them all at the same time. Also, this razor is available, like I said, on freesaloneducation.com and it's 39 bucks. So it's nothing like crazy. It's not a super expensive tool. It comes in a wide tooth comb and a fine tooth comb. So you can get both. So you can see how those layers move and they work their way back on the head shape. Now we're going to work into the back of the head. I'm going to use the 50% cutting side of this razor. So one side has hundred percent cutting 
The other side has 50% cutting. So I just slide that 50% cutting from the occipital bone down, which creates a little extra pop of layering in the back of the head to really bring the, the shape to this haircut in the back. So now you can see all those layers. I'm gonna use Joyco, Joy Whip, a hold number seven. It's a firm hold foam. You don't need a lot of it. Put it throughout the hair. And then I go in with my second product, which is the Defy Damage uh, Protective Shield from Joyco, which is a bond protector and it's also a heat protectant. So everything we're doing is to protect the hair, to build it up, and then bam, look at that. Tons of curl to the hair, just using a diffuser, working our um, diffuser into the hair on low uh, airflow, high heat, and just blow drying that hair nice um, and curly. And then the last thing I do, I just finish it with a little bit of hairspray, and then I'm gonna go in and do a tiny bit of dry cutting just to finalize my shape. Um, I like how everything's kind of built up in there, but I just go around uh, the perimeter, do a little bit of tease cutting, which is a half open, half close of the scissor, and I work that around, and I also go through right in the face frame area, and I build, um, I just take out a little bit of weight uh, throughout that as well. So just taking some pieces, random pieces going in, and cutting to finalize that shape. So here is our final look. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about it. Um, I'd love to answer those, but hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a lot. Thanks for watching.